nice move not telling old Sweet Lips in there about her friend taking the big jump till we were half out the door. Very slick. I figured we'd get more out of her that way. You're learning, Phelps. We'll make a vice cop out of you yet. Cole, Roy, I have some information for you. You're the only person enjoying this, Mal. Get on with it. The bruising confirms two sets of hands, so we have two killers. Death was caused by heart failure due to an overdose of morphine. Have you dragged us down here to gloat? We already heard your theory. We agree that she was murdered. Yes, of course. I have something else to show you. All right, Mal, what gives? The dead guy's name is Jimmy LeBlanc, career burglar. He came in this morning. Someone stove his head in with a lump of two by four. So what? Good riddance. I found two serrets in his jacket pocket. Wow. Hang on a minute, Roy. We're listening now. No sign of morphine use and no metabolized morphine in his blood. Scratch marks on his face. Which could be from getting his head remodeled. Time of death, Mal. Maybe an hour or two after the Randall girl. So you're saying Laughing Boy here could be one of our killers? That's a hell of a long shot. Thanks, Mal. We'll check it out. I found something else. Sorry, I don't play. I don't know if it's significant. His wallet was empty. The only other things he was carrying were the harmonica and the morphine. Carruthers. Yeah, he's here. I'll send him over. They have a guy called Henry Arnett in interview two for you next door. Let me know how you get on. Sure, Mal. And thanks for the lead. Sure, Mal, thanks for the lead. Arnett is an in interview, too. Phelps, go help him get whatever it is off his chest. Mr. Arnett, I'm Detective Phelps. This is Detective Earl. Thanks for coming in. Call me Henry. It's the least I could do. Terrible news about Julia. How well did you know Julia Randall? Vaguely. I'm in the clothing business, and Julia occasionally modeled. Close. We were friends. Miss Randall's landlady said she was seeing an older man. Could have been. I wasn't privy to all the details of Julia's private life. Spill it, Henry. You know nothing about a man named Henderson? Uh, yes, you're, you're right. Henderson, yeah. Very distinguished. How about a first name, wise guy? An address, maybe? I'm sorry, I don't. I think he lives somewhere out of town, somewhere back east. Ever heard of a Jimmy LeBlanc? No. Should I have? Is, is he an entertainer or something? So you wouldn't have any reason to believe that LeBlanc would be involved in Julie Randall's murder? If this guy is a criminal, he, he might have been involved. But 
Like I said, I've never heard of this LeBlanc character. Heather told us that you were in fashion. That's right. I say we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. Some kind of traveling salesman? Once I got out of the Corps, I used my... You were in the Marines? Sure. I'm proud of it. Fighting sixth. You were in the sixth Marines? Yes. I was a captain. Which company? Uh, various companies. We had a lot of casualties. Which engagements? Okinawa. A couple of other places. That will be all for now, Henry. You've been very helpful. That son of a bitch was never in the Marines. Why'd you let him off the hook? Because we're giving him a couple of minutes before we start tailing him. Arnett is an amateur. We need to find out who killed the girl. Can you pass this on to Bukowski? Have him check the place out and go through his records. Sure, I'll pass it on. Thanks. Can you also have R and I run the records on a Jimmy LeBlanc and find out who was his last arresting officer? Have them get in touch via KGPL when they have some information. He's in that car at the lights. He was squirming like a worm in there. Don't you love it when they pull the war hero excuse? Actually, maybe you don't. You got a pretty funny idea of what keeping a low profile means, Phelps. I'd have expected a cad like Arnett to be a better liar. Be a bad time to forget how to drive. Careful, we'll get spotted at this distance. Spook them. We're back into traffic, Phelps, now. That idiot never stepped foot in Okinawa. That ought to do it. Now get back in close. Money and fast. Get in there and find out what he pawned. I'll stick with him and see how he intends to spend the money. Too much slack. Puff it, Phelps. Closer. I'll bring the car.
too much slack. Puff it, Phelps. I gotta get closer. That's right, Mexico City. One-way ticket, please. Next available seat. That would be one day from now. Is that okay? It's going to have to be. LAPD, the man who just came in here, he bought a ticket? Yes, sir, to Mexico City, tomorrow night. If you hear from him again, don't mention this conversation. What have you got? He bought a ticket from Mexico City tomorrow night. That's good, but this is better. Oh my God, it's Fabergé. Should have seen the look on the pawnbroker's face when I told him to hand it over. The guy who owned the joint thought it was worth at least 10 large for a cigarette case. Arnett only got 600 clams. KGPL. 11K, go to Hollywood Station. Homicide detectives Bukowski and Galloway have information relating to the Randall case. Roger, KGPL. 11K, on route. Car 11K, Car 11 King, come in. Car 11 King, go ahead. R and I reports the last arresting officer for DOA, Jimmy LeBlanc, was Patrolman Fred Wallace. Working a shift on Hollywood 9th Beat, Sunset Boulevard, between Norton and Wilcox. Car 11K, on route. A one-way ticket to Mexico. Old Henry's looking as guilty as a dog next to a pile of dog shit. What's his motive? I can think of a few, but I'd put my money south of the belt. One guy plus two dames always equals problems.
twice alive. This is a nightmare. Sir, I need the contraband list. Items stolen over the last year. Hang on, I'll dig out a copy for you. Here you go. Thanks. Is the cigarette case on there? It's here. Arnett must be out of his mind trying to move this while under a murder cloud. Can you identify the man in this 